hello, I'm Wanda Clayton, family counselor at Nokomasong Shelter. Today I'm going to talk to you about healthy and unhealthy boundaries. When you think of a boundary, what comes to mind? You think of something like a property line or a defying line of shape. Boundaries show where one thing ends and another begins. Boundaries in a relationship are kind of like this. Boundaries help you define who you are and how comfortable you are with a situation and how you would like to be treated by others. They apply to any kind of relationship you have, whether it's a friend, a family member, a partner, anyone else in your life. Even though we talk about them in relationship to other people, in some ways, boundaries are really about your relationship with yourself. They help you honor your needs, your goals, your feelings, and values. Boundaries can be emotional, physical, or even digital. Some examples of personal boundaries might be, I'm cool with following each other on social media, but not sharing my passwords. I'm comfortable kissing and holding hands, but not in public. I'm okay with regularly texting, but I don't want to text multiple times in an hour. I want to spend time with my friends and family on the weekends. I need quiet time to myself every day. I'm comfortable with some touching, but I'm not ready to have sex. It can be helpful to think through your own boundaries, no matter what your relationship status is. Start by paying attention to how you feel about and react to situations around you. Whether in real life or in shows or movies you watch, Think about what makes you feel uncomfortable, what's important to you, what you do to make things private. Is there any type of behavior or trait that would not fly with you? Sometimes called a deal breaker. It might be helpful to write down some of your thoughts. How can you and your partner know each other's boundaries? By talking about them. Communication is really a key in a healthy relationship. And boundaries are an important part of an ongoing conversation between you and your partner. Talking about boundaries can happen whenever, wherever. If your partner does something that you like or don't like, let them know. A simple, hey, I really like it when you, or I'm not comfortable when we, lets them know what's up. In a healthy relationship, partners respect each other's boundaries. Once they've communicated, and if you're ever not clear on your partner's boundaries, just ask. Questions like, is that okay? Or are you cool with this? Can help jumpstart the conversation. Just remember, if you don't want to talk about your boundaries with your partner because you're afraid they'll react with anger or violence, that's a warning sign that your relationship might be unhealthy or abusive. If you're having these thoughts and feelings, you can contact um, loverespect.org. They are there 24 seven to help. You can talk with your mental health worker, speak with your family doctor or somebody trusted in a friend or a family relationship. Miigwech.